we're, we're all some pretty fucking dumb, dumb apes just floating through a rock through space. Apes you know? have it good. They stopped at the right time, evolution wise. <laughs> I think they're, they're chilling. Elaborate. Great time. <laughs> well, they get to have all the, you know, that orangutan got to drive that golf cart in that one video. Oh, yeah. And he, he didn't have to get a license. <laughs> you know, he didn't have to go to the DMV. I think he got the best part of evolution, which is like sit back, relax, eat bananas, chill out. They can get they, to drive a golf cart. Dude, right. I'm just jealous they get to flick their turds without any oh, repercussions, man. Like, sure. uh, I, we I wish. We, uh, That's apes, my dark thought for the week. Too far. We should have stopped at dogs. Dogs. I'm just. I, I, I don't think we evolved from dogs. We don't. Though. We didn't evolve from dogs. Doesn't matter. Evolution. Just a world of dogs. E the evolution council of should dogs. have stopped at dogs, man. The council of dogs. There's, there's nothing more pure than just a dog. I, th true. I think a dog. Would does, dogs? Does, if, if the world was only dogs, would dogs be friendly to each other? I don't think they would. Isn't that sad? Mm. Maybe the dogs wouldn't be good boys. Maybe, maybe the reason you're why- You're assuming every dog is a good boy, Garn. And, yeah, and maybe the reason why dogs ended up evolving as wholesome and awesome as they did is because of the filthy human. Dogs just exist. We, we tempered and it worked for once. <laughs> <laughs> that was when it worked. We did a massive W for once. <laughs> what about cats? They do. They 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 already own the world. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's already cats, we already cats pull the strings from those shadows. Already, Everyone cats, knows this. Cats we are like already cats. live in their world. Yeah. God. What do you mean? It's <laughs> since the beginning of the Egyptian age, we've worshipped fucking cats, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what it is about cats that we just we can't help but just gravitate towards. Since ancient times, human humanity has not changed. They're cute. They're That's like. It. Cats could be like the biggest fucking assholes in the world and humans are like, I fucking love you and I would die for you. And they are completely right. Cats, cats are literally the Humans do that to me. other humans. <laughs> like cat, you're, a, cat. you're a giant piece of shit, but I love you. Cats, I never stop. Like, cats are basically the cigarettes of the animal world. They're just like, I know this thing is absolutely horrible, but God damn, I can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> I, 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 uh, when I was at Ludwig's house, I got to stroke. Uh, coots, and that was a very cute cat. <laughs> I thought that sentence was going on. I got the stroke. I, I, was, oh I, 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 I did get to do that too. I was lying down and then Coots would just jump on me and he yeah. would just want, you know, a, a good cuddle. And I thought, all right, yeah, cats you know, are the I'll, best. I'll allow it. <laughs> I've allowed yeah. you to exist. Oh we uh, we have this uh, we have this cat uh, in my house in England. Mm. Uh, that's, oh yeah, I remember that's, this one. Yeah, that's not our our cat. It's our neighbor's cat. Mm. Oh, uh, cat. <laughs> but it's really our cat. Okay, it's um, the streets cat. <laughs> uh, we don't know what her name is. Uh, for some reason, Sydney Sydney uh, named her Scarlet Joe. And then that name just stuck because whenever she shouts it, the cat just comes running. So I don't know what what your cat's name is. Uh, sorry, uh, Mrs. Neighbor, but uh, it's Scarlet Joe now. Um, and this we've, this we've, we've appropriated the name. Yeah, yeah. this she she she's too fucking smart, man. Because she knows. Okay, here's the thing, right? We we are we're simple creatures. We just want to give them pets and yeah. give them love, mm -hmm. right? They, they're cats. We just want to give them pets and give them love. Um, Scarlet Joe knows the exact right amount of pets that she's willing to give before like saying, no, no more pets. You're not allowed anymore. Right. And then, and then she knows that we fucking crave it. So like anytime, anytime, anytime we look like we're like, you know, a bit more disinterested than usual. She goes, now have a pet. And we're like, fuck, are you, are you, are you giving me a pet? And she get, and she just lets us pet her, and she goes, "All right, enough." And I'm like, "Fuck! I want to pet you more now. Dude, I want to pet you more." Dude, she is in full control. Fuck! fuck. I, I know the the worst thing is, I know she is, but I can't stop it. Okay, <laughs> okay. If she if she wants pets, I'm going to give it to her. And God fucking damn it! Like it's just. I'm telling you, man, like You're cute, cute animals are just like, they just get the pass. She's an evil fucking being. I, that's, that's <laughs> she, she's evil, man. She, mm. <laughs> she's a manipulative, evil fucking being. Oh, I believe it. God. And, and you know what? But I, I love her. But I fucking, <laughs> I, I, I am this close to fucking abducting her from our neighbors, man. <laughs> Who needs to? She was coming to you. Yeah, she is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she is. When, when, when she knows, when, when we're, when, uh, when we haven't been, uh, when we've, come back from like a long trip from like Japan or something like that. Mm. The first day, every first day, she's always like so loving. So everything, we feel love, we feel like we're back home. And then every other day after that, she just goes back to normal. All right, you've had your time now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and just judge you. I don't want to give you too much serotonin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no more serotonin for you, sir. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. What was your cat like when you grew up? Cause you- Yeah, I, I had a few cats. Um, a few? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we had, well, when I was born, we had two, um, oh, but like my, my parents had three the whole time, uh, Pocky and little guy. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was weird because it's like when you have two cats living in the same house, it you really see the personality differences, right? Right, because like when you just see a cat by itself, it's like okay, you know, you can discern maybe some like personality traits of the cat, right, the, from yeah. different cats that you know. But like mm. when it's two cats next to each other, it really is like night and day. Yeah. Uh, so like I think like I mean I don't remember a whole lot because I was really young, but like I remember like. Little guy was definitely the That's asshole in the family. Uh, um, he would he would do this thing where like, I don't know if he had like memory problems or whatever, but like we would feed him. Right. And then literally 30 minutes later, he'd come back and be like, where the fuck's my food? <laughs> and just start uh, meowing. I do, that. I do that. And just start <laughs> meowing at my dad. Yeah. And my dad's like, bitch, I've just fed you. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. And he'd just be like, no, I'm still hungry. <laughs> Give me my fucking food. <laughs> Meanwhile, Pocky is like out on the veranda just being yeah. like, thank you for the meal, father. That was absolutely <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I got saw some of this, bro. Let me, uh, you, you can pet me now. You, you, you can come and pet me. I'm full, I'm satisfied. Come hither. Meanwhile, little guy's just being like, I'm still hungry. Give me my food. Where is it? And it's just, I don't know. Like I, I loved both cats equally for like different things, but it's just like, yeah. It really does just show like how these animals just have like really just distinct personalities. And it's like, yeah. and it's dope, you know, like, you know, like even like when we had, we used to have like a lot of birds as well, right? Like yeah. my, my parents currently own like a, a cockatiel right now. And like compared to the last cockatiel we had, this one is a million times more of an asshole. But it's like, but it's forgivable because it's cute. What? And the couple of times that it falls asleep in your hand, it's like, you know what? All the bite marks you gave me over the years, worth it for me. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. One thing I've always wondered about birds. <laughs> why, why don't they just fly away? What do you mean? Like what's stopping them from just flying away? Oh, I mean, our last cockatiel flew away. Yeah, right? I think it's yeah. like, is there a point where the bird goes, hold on a second, you can just fly and never come back. Or actually, our well, first our first cockatiel, uh, Ziggy, uh, he actually flew away, but then he flew into because you know we live next to a national park. Yeah, he flew out, but then got confused to be like, "Holy shit, where am I?" Because we could uh, actually see him circling around, to, oh, like trying fuck. to find yeah. us. And then what he ended up doing was he just nosedived into the 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 the, the forest. And so my dad and I went out to actually go and find him. Uh, you know, hoping that he didn't fly off somewhere. Yeah. And after like a 20 minute search, we 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 heard him, we could hear what him chirping. Fuck? And I looked up at this tree and he's just like perched on top, just like looking down and be like, motherfucker, help me. <laughs> like, where, where the fuck where am I? Bro, the if, fuck have you I, been? If I saw the bird guy, I'd be like, yeah, we're not getting that. Bro. Yeah, so, <laughs> so the original plan like was like, my dad took off his jacket and was mm -hmm. just like, all right, call him down like to know that we're here. And yeah. then the moment he like lands anywhere, I'm gonna put the jacket on top and like wrap him up so he doesn't like freak out and fly away somewhere. Yeah. Right? So that was the original plan. So like we're calling him down. He's like looking down being like, is it safe? Is it safe? And he, he flies down, he lands on the shoulder. But, and as soon as my dad was about to put the jacket on him, I was like, no, I don't think we should because this motherfucker was gripping onto my shoulders <laughs> yeah. like no tomorrow. That's it was so like, cute. it was hurting. It's just like, I am not leaving your shoulder. <laughs> so what <laughs> ended up happening was it was like a 20 minute walk back to the house. Yeah. He just fucking stayed there. Oh, that's cool. And oh. just didn't move. He was just like, take me home right now, please. <laughs> so like, what, but what the normal, like why do birds not fly away sometimes? Like why do they just, um, do they ever come back if they like fly Well, away? I think it depends on like how the bird was raised. So like okay. if it was raised in captivity its entire life, then it doesn't know the concept of flying away. Oh, uh, okay. Right? right. But if 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 it's say from like, you know, you take it from like the wild, mm -hmm. then obviously they're going to be more prone to be like, why am I in this fucking room? I'm going out Do there, some bro. birds like just fly away like for like a day or two and then just come back? Is it like a thing for like some birds? I, 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 I have think, no idea how, how it is to own a bird as a pet. I think I think for some birds, yeah. I mean, it depends obviously on how long yeah. you've like kept, well, it's like dogs as well, right? I like do, some yeah. dogs run away, but then there are accounts of a couple of days later, the dog just shows up in your front porch and it's just like, hey, hi. What did I miss? What did I miss? What did Karen do this time? When, whereas like some dogs just run away and you never see them again, right? So yeah. I think it just depends on like the attachment factor of the animal. Yeah, I guess dads do that too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I guess, you know, it's not, it's not yeah. unique to 
Turning it into birds and dogs. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know. you needed an AI to stop but, that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how I'm like, oh yeah, just birds do that. Yeah, like, wait, like no, no, all wait. living creatures do that. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was like, it was really fascinating that like, you know, that like even with, but cause you know, I never had that concept of like, birds having that idea, right? Because yeah. I was mm. kind of the same as you when I first uh, started owning a bird of like, oh, we have to be careful where every time we yeah, open like the yeah. door bird because they just might like, just fucking fly away. Yeah, bird yeah. just like scout every fucking like crevice of the house to make sure yeah. the bird yeah. can't escape. But then, you know, there are some places where like, uh, you know, you could like interact with like an owl or like an eagle or like a bigger bird yeah. and they're not attached to anything, uh, but right, they're just true. like chilling out and they're just like, they could fly away at any it's time, true. but it's they're true. just like, no, you know what? I'm, 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 I like it here. I'm, I think I'm going to stay fair. here. That's yeah. Fair. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah. I've, I've never, I've never owned a bird before. Mm. Uh, but I have seen one grow, grow up before. This, what is, you, what this, is, this is just a really weird story mm. uh, that this talk has just reminded me of. Mm. So when I was living in Thailand, uh, my house in Thailand is like over, is uh, over like a pond kind of, kind of thing. Uh, we have we have a pond next to our- Big spender. I mean, it's- Stop uh, flexing. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, a pond gone. Okay, we get it. You have a pond, it's, right? It's, it's Thailand, okay? Well, no, we live We live on like the outskirts of Bangkok. So it's like a bit more in nature. Mm. Um, and near like, uh, near the rooftop and everything like that, or just on the balcony, birds would like, like to make nests and everything like that. Mm. Uh, and so in my office uh, in Thailand, I sit right next to a window that has a really, really good view of the places uh, of the place where birds would love to make their nests and everything like that. Right. <clears throat> and so one bird made a nest that was kind of like right right next to my window. Uh, al almost next to my window, right? Um so I I saw basically that a bird had made a nest and like I saw that you know she had laid some eggs and some baby some, and some mice uh birds like some baby birds have had had hatched mm. and every day I would come down and I would see the mum feeding them. And slowly and slowly, I would see them like, you know, grow up. And I will never forget this point because I, I would uh, I would see them every single day. I saw these little chicks grow up and everything mm. like that. Um, and there's a day where I saw their first flight, Aww. right? Where I saw their first flight. And it, it, was, it was interesting for me because I've never seen how birds just learn to fly, yeah. right? Mm. Uh, initially, I just thought, okay, instinct, they just know how to fly. Mm. Um, nope, they, uh, that, that doesn't happen actually. Yeah. And, well, at least that's not what I saw. Mm. Um, so actually the mother helps to teach them how to fly, right? Mm. So what happens is, uh, here's, here's me, like I'm sitting, I'm sitting out my window. There's the nest is over there. Mm. And what happens mm. is the mother flies to like the little, it flies to my window mm. and it's like chirps at the chiclet. It's like, come on, come here. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a teacher how to fly. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Um, and initially, uh, and initially the chick's like, all right, I can do this. Immediately does it, right? And then, but then I, th I think something just clicked in, in, in his brain to be like, oh, that was scary, actually. <laughs> that was I was in the air, and mind you, between my window and where the nest was was just pond. It was just yeah. water, mm. right? So if they fall, they're fucking drowning, yeah, yeah. right? And so the mother flies back to the nest, and and she ch she continues chirping for the chicklet to fly back to the yeah. nest. Doesn't do it. It's one like, minute pass. Like, like, mom, I'm not doing that one, again. One minute passes. <laughs> doesn't do it. Yeah. Mom flies back, flies through the nest again chirps again, three minute passes, doesn't do it. The chicklet looks at his mum and <laughs> and then after the mum chirped really loudly this one time, chicklet just stands on the edge, looks at his, uh, looks at his mum, shits himself. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. I get it, can't fall out of the I'm, I'm not tank. joking. I, I'm looking at this bird, his mum's like chirping. He shits himself. And then he takes off and it's a low takeoff. And at this point I'm I'm invested in this bird because I'm thinking to myself, if this bird falls in, yeah. I'm running out of my office and I'm diving into this pond to save this bird. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I see this bird growing up. This bird ain't dying on his first flight. And what happens is he takes off, but he's too low. He's like flapping his wings. Yeah. And he, what happens is the nest is perched up there. Yeah. He hits, Oh, uh, no. He hits the little balcony before the nest, yeah. and then he, just, he like panically like like 
tries to grab on. Tries to grab on, flaps his wing. I was like halfway through running out, but luckily he just got enough elevation yeah. to get his foot on the nest. And I was like, oh my fucking God. I'm so fucking proud of you, man. That's it. I'm that's fuck- my boy. That's my boy right there, man. I'm fucking proud of him. That's cute. That's a cute story. Had to clean the bird shit off my balcony yeah, afterwards, yeah, but you know, say. you know, that was it was it was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Shits himself. <laughs> Proceeds to fly. Yeah. I just shit the fear out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if humans could do that? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm so scared and I don't want to do this yeah. thing. Let me just shit the Let's fear just... out. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm good. I'm empty, I'm ready to go. Yeah. In in that moment, I realized us and birds, we're not so different. Yeah. When we fear shit, when we fear stuff, we want to shit ourselves. Oh yeah. Birds just, birds just do the it. Birds you know? just commit. Birds <laughs> just commit, you know? <laughs> they don't care. They just shit themselves if they're yeah, scared. We say I'm shitting myself. <laughs> the bird actually shits itself. <laughs>